ریسلرز کی گونج کے ساتھ ریاستی گورنر محترمہ ڈاکٹر کملی سائی سوندر راجل صاحبہ کا استقبال ہے گورنر محترمہ کو سیلیوٹنگ ڈائز کی طرف اسکارٹ کیا جا رہا ہے لیڈیز ان جنٹلمن گورنر مام ہیز کم اور اور آنڈربل چیف منسٹر سو ہیز جس رسائیوٹ اور یو کین سی آن یو سکرینز اور بیوٹیفل مومنٹ اور ہسٹورک مومنٹ The Commandant, College of Air Warfare, is now escorting, would be escorting Dr. Tamil Sai Sandurajan Ma'am, the Governor of Telangana, to the saluting dais, and the parade will present Rashtri salute to our Honorable Governor Ma'am. Commandant, College of Air Warfare, Dr. Tamil Sai Sandurajan Mohtarama ko saluting dais ki taraf le jate huye. Izzat Maab Governor Mohtarama ko Rashtri salute pesh kiya jai ga. There we can see our Honorable Governor Ma'am, Honorable Chief Minister Sir, dignitaries coming forward and the media ready with their lens to capture this historic moment. Parade! General Salute! Salame! Just... गणतंत्र दिनोत्सव नवोत्सव हर्षोत्सव वेला इधिको जाती या पाता काविष्कर ने गवर्नर गवर्नर काइंडली अराइज फॉर द नेशनल एंथम ऑफिसर्स इन यूनिफॉर्म विल सैल्यूट परेड राष्ट्रीय सलाम सलाम एक शास जननी भारती नी शुभानामा नी कीर्तिस्ताओं नी आशिस्तुल नी आशिस्ताओं अंटु सागिर जातिय गीता लापन गणतंत्र संबराल नी यावत देश व्याप्तंगा जर्पकुंटन भारती लक शुभा कांग्ष There the parade commander seeks permission from honorable governor Permission taken and permission granted. The parade commander just now has taken the permission from the Honorable Governor to march off the contingent. Parade! Rastriya Salaam! Salaam! Shas! Shut! Sure. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you can see the contingents marching off. We have five contingents smartly dressed and one band and one bugular team. All together, 264 personnel were over here. 175 personnel from the five contingents, 81 personnel from the band and eight buglers. We had five band ki janib se Roja Kashmir dhun bajate huye. Tamam contingents wapas ja rahe hain. All together we had five contingents, 13 Punjab regiment of Andhra Saberia, which was led by Captain Rahul, Indian Air Force by squadron leader Edward Prince, Ekoi of 1st Battalion, Telangana State Special Police, Shri T. Sambhaya Arya was leading the contingent. Also we had Hyderabad City Police Women contingent led by B. Monica and Chhattisgarh Police, Dev Narayan Kumar Inspector. There the air is full of music, rhythm, wailer, as the band plays the spectacular music. Gauru Nilina, Mukhya Atiti, Telangana, Rostra, Governor, Dr. Tamil Sis Hondarajanagari, Ganatantra Dinot Sava Sandesim. We have addressed by our Honorable Governor, Madam, youngest governor of the youngest state, Governor Mohtarama Kuchilam Hatme, Awam Se Khitab Karengi. Andariki Namaskaram. My warm greetings to the Telangana people, Honorable Chief Minister Sri A. Revent Redigaru, Cabinet Ministers and State Administration on the occasion of the 75th Republic Day celebrations today. The Indian Constitution attained significance for elevating the country as one nation by uniting multiple races, religions and castes. It is a proud moment for Indian citizens that the country has been moving forward successfully under the guidance of the world's largest Indian constitution for the last 74 years. This credit goes to the architects of the Indian constitution and the people of the country. The Constitution gave people enough powers to remove the rulers who run governments against the spirit of the Constitution through struggles and verdicts in the elections. We achieved a separate Telangana state with the inspiration of the Constitution and the rights enshrined in it. The Constitution also provided the people with opportunity to terminate the governments ruling against the constitutional spirit. The Telangana society has put an end to the 10-year dictatorial government run against the constitutional spirit in the recently held elections. The people's government has been formed in Telangana state. The people's mandate declared the arrogance and autocracy have no place in the Telangana state. We are reconstructing the ruined constitutional bodies, systems and values in the last 10 years. I am delighted to say that the people's government is reviving constitutional merits, systems and practices. The fruits of democracy, welfare and development will reach out the people only when the government runs the administration in tune with the spirit of the constitution. Unilateral decisions and dictatorial approaches are against the principles of democracy. The newly elected people's government started functioning with full consciousness. The government is striving with objective of delivering equal opportunities, rendering social justice and granting freedom to all sections of the people. The people's government initiated the action plan to fulfill the assurances given to the people from the first minute of assuming charge. Two of the six guarantees have already been implemented. I am happy that more than 11 crore women have already utilized the free TSRTC bus transportation services under the Mahalakshmi scheme implemented as a part of six guarantees. The government's main objective is to implement four other guarantees in 100 days and see the smiles on the face of the people. My government is heading forward by introducing reforms and rectifying the derailed administrative systems. 
you are all also aware of the precarious financial condition of the state due to the mismanagement of the previous government. Chief Minister Shri Revendra Digaru's government is moving fast with grit and determination to make Telangana state to compete with the world and write a new chapter in the welfare and development sector. The top priority of the people's government is to realize the people's aspirations and their welfare. The government's responsibility is to deliver welfare benefits to every eligible beneficiary. The government already received applications from the needy people from December 28 to January 6, a total of 1 crore 25 lakh. Applications have been received of them. 1 crore 5 lakh have been received seeking the benefits of the five guarantees. People submitted 19,93,000 applications for other requisitions. The government is preparing an action plan to address the people's grievances by compiling the department-wise data. The previous government has completely neglected employment and livelihood for youth for, for the past 10 years. The erstwhile state government was indifferent towards the youth who played a key role during the Telangana movement. The People's Government, led by Honorable Chief Minister Revendra Digaru, is, playing, is paying special attention to, to providing job to the youth. The process of reforming the TSPSC is in progress. Job recruitment will be taken up by the government soon after the completion of the process. My appeal to youth is not to raise doubts or suspicions about the government's sincerity in providing jobs. It is a testament to Telangana's progress that the state succeeded in entering agreements for the highest ever rupees 40,232 crore investments with global and domestic companies during the Chief Minister Revendra Digaru's recent Davos visit. I am heartily congratulating the Chief Minister and his team. I strongly believe that the government's efforts will yield industrial growth as well as employment generation. The state government is committed to the well-being of the farmers. 24-hour quality-free power is being supplied to the farmers along with the implementation of the Varangal Declaration. The government is already working to fulfill the promise of the Right to Barosa scheme. The Right to Barosa scheme benefit is already deposited in the bank accounts of small and medium farmers. The government is also holding deliberations with banks to implement. Repays 2 lakh loan waiver scheme for farmers. The government is bound to complete the farmer loan waiver scheme in a planned manner. My government is reiterating that all the promises made to the farmers will be fulfilled. I would like to make it clear to all Telangana people, the past government was not accessible to common man. People were in chaos uh, to submit their grievances. We all witnessed that there was no government mechanism that existed to wipe out poor man's tears. Today, a democratic government is ruling Telangana. State government ministers are available to hear public grievances at the Prajavani program every Tuesday and Friday at Mahatma Jodi Bafule Prajabhavan in Hyderabad. Freedom is given to common man to submit their grievances before the Chief Minister and the Ministers in the State Secretariat. The government is contemplating the launch of the Prajavani program at the grassroots level. After the formation of Telangana State, the present government is performing in true spirit of the Constitution for the first time. I am proudly saying the people's freedom and their fundamental rights are highly regarded in the Telangana administration. With the inspiration of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the People's Government is heading forward, aiming for the welfare of the poor, BC, SC, ST and minority communities. I am heartfully wishing again that the Telangana state will reach many heights in development and improve people's living standards through welfare with the same inspiration from Dr. B. R. Ambedkar.